Congratulations Abhishek on securing All India Rank 1 in EC 2021 from Electrical Engineering Brand. Thank you ma'am. Tell us about the moment when you got to know about the result. We were waiting for result uh, with a lot of expectation. I think it was Monday. The result was expected to come since it was already 7 to 8 days after the last date of interview. I was, I came from office in the evening. I was talking to my mother uh, when a message popped in my telegram group that Abhishek Kumar Sharma, All India Rank 1. So I was very happy. I was nervous as well. I immediately cut the phone, cut the call and immediately downloaded the PDF which was already in the group by then. So this time I was not very nervous while opening the PDF because I already knew, I think, I had an indication that I have got good rank because of that message. So when I scrolled uh, through the PDF, I saw my name at the very beginning, rank one Abhishek Kumar Sharma in the electrical engineering. And I was very happy with that. I screamed uh, vociferously after that because last time I did not get my name in the list and I was very apprehensive this time as well. But when I found my name, I was very happy. I started screaming. And then I called my mother, I informed everyone that I've got All India rank one. I did not really expect it to get that rank. I was expecting good rank. I did all my efforts, but rank one was a pure surreal feeling for me. I'm, and I'm still happy recounting, uh, recalling that moment. Uh, there are still goosebumps in me. So I'm very delighted for that. Why did you choose ESE over other career choice? I'm working in a distribution company. So the scope of the work is quite limited here. It is only limited to the distribution sector. So I was always excited about the central power engineering services cadre because I believe that if I get that cadre, I would be able to work in transmission sector, distribution sector, generation sector, most importantly, renewable energy sector. So I thought that I will have a holistic knowledge of everything that is happening in the power sector in the country. And I will be able to keep myself up to date with all that is happening, all the modern things that are happening in the power sector. So this uh, joining uh, Ministry of Power Government of India as an assistant director was my motivation behind giving engineering services examination. What was unique about your strategy? I was preparing for GATE in 2018. So my basic subjects, all the syllabus which is common with the GATE, all the basics of that was already completed in my college. Then I restarted my preparation for engineering services in 2020. Uh, sorry, in 2019 for ESC 2020 in March 2019. So since I, I was working full time, so I did not get a lot of time, but I made it a point. I promised to myself that I will study every day consistently for at least four to five hours. And I tried following that routine that after coming from home at around 5, 5.30 p.m., I started studying from 7, 7.30 p.m. And I, st and I studied till uh, 2 a.m., 2 to 2.30 a.m. in the morning. So 5 to 6 hours daily. And before examination, I studied for 7 to 8 hours as well. So uh, what I would like to say, all the aspirants who are doing job and still want to prepare for this examination or any examination, that you might not be able to study 10 hours, 12 hours, which other aspirants are doing maybe. But if you study for 6 hours consistently every day, uh, there is no reason why you should not be selected. It might take two attempts. For other people, it might take one attempt. It might take two attempts. It might happen in one as well. But if you keep uh, working hard consistently and you, if you believe in yourself that it will happen ultimately, uh, you can still get success even while working full time. You just have to find five to six hours daily every day. How it all started and what kept you consistent and motivated all through this while? So in ESA 2020, I missed the final list by a mere one marks. I got 717. And the cutoff was 718. So when I saw the result, I challenged myself that I have missed this year rank by this year merit list by one mark. I will uh, get All India rank one the next time. So this was just an example. What I want to say is that motivation is something which will come from within. So you have to find different reasons to generate motivation. It can be anything. It can be a good a group A officer job. Uh, it can be the uh, fame or contentment, satisfaction that comes with scoring a good rank. So it's not that every day I was motivated. Also, someday I was demotivated. I did not want to study. But what we need to do is we need to uh, focus on daily goals, not think too far, not think what will happen in the interview, what will happen if I don't get my name in the merit list. You have to just focus on your daily goals. You should decide what you want to do tomorrow, a, a night before, and you have to follow it uh, with a lot of dedication. 
so if you are completing your daily goals every day uh, you should believe that you are going in the right path so uh, you should have a, have the motivation for to prepare for one 1.5 years but at the same time you need to focus on daily goals to keep yourself motivated in the whole journey how did you come to know about is master i did come to know about is master in my college uh, everybody knew about is master in my college and also come to uh, know about that in my college years only with my friends and all which program you were part here at is master for ac 2021 i enrolled in is master mains test series program and after that i enrolled in is master mock interview program and interview guidance program um regarding mains test series it helped me a lot in my preparation i gave all the uh, test series of is master solving test series is very important and the question which was uh, which was there in the is master test paper was very good up to the level of mains examination and uh, there were some tricky questions as well some new concepts as well and i used to solve the questions i used to make notes of all the new concepts and it helped me uh, score well in the mains examination regarding mock interview it was also very useful for me tell us about your experience in upsc interview hall the chairperson of my panel was dr manoj soni sir and the interview was very cordial luckily or unexpectedly uh, the questions which uh, was asked by the panel um, most of the questions i knew because i prepared this time very exhaustively so the questions were basically from uh, electrical machines power systems and few uh, modern concepts in electrical engineering uh, which was all uh, questions from books only not very um, not very difficult questions so i answered all of them and the chair person sir also asked about uh, my gate rank and uh, about from certain questions from my dap um, and also few questions regarding electrical engineering so overall the questions were quite easy from the book from the core subjects only what was your strategy for gs paper gs paper 1 i uh, i i scored around 98 marks even in gs 2021 and this year i scored around 88 marks and i was consistently scoring well in test series as well so i always had a strategy in place for paper 1 the strategy was that uh, everyone should read all the subjects or at least like most of the subjects nine there are 10 subject uh, you should read at least nine subjects from any standard books from any coaching books or any standard books from any lecture anything you have to complete that subject you should have knowledge about that subject and you should keep revising it but the most important thing is test series you should give as many test series as possible and in the test series even if you don't know even if you are not very sure of the answer what you need to do is you need to attempt the question you need to make educated risk you need Uh, you need to make educated attempt and calculated risks you have to take and you have to attempt around 80 to 90 questions i mean if, even if the question is tough okay you can bring it down to 70 but if you attempt more uh, you are more likely to get more marks so by so i was attempting a lot of questions even in test series so i practiced this uh, way in test and it was working for me so i also attempted good number of questions in uh, upsc paper as well and i got good marks in my both attempts so my advice would be uh, to revise the subjects from any standard source and to attempt as many test series as possible and to attempt questions in that test series even if you even if you are not completely sure of the answer how did you prioritize all your subjects i only used to get around 5 to 6 hours daily since i was working so i studied one subject in a day uh like i used to study electrical machine so i'll study electrical machine for 4 to 5 days complete it revise it completely solve questions then i will move to a different subject give it 8 to 10 days and complete it and then i will move to next subject like that but if somebody is preparing from home and if he has like uh, 9 to 10 hours or 12 hours every day so one should take two subjects at a time give 5 to 6 hours for one subject 5 to 6 hours for another subject and what we can do is we can couple a numerical related subject like machines power system with theory subject like basic electronics or let us say material science computer fundamental so sometimes we get tired by reading all the theory uh, so we can solve the numericals like machines and control system easy subject so the concept should be to couple or group an easy subject which you feel easy with a tough subject which you feel tough something like that how did you handle pressure in exam hall uh, 
uh, in my 2021 attempt i got only 132 marks in my mains paper 2 uh, that does not indicate my preparedness i was well prepared i studied almost every topic but still because of the pressure i made a lot of silly mistakes and i ended up getting only 132 marks so in my 2021 attempt what i did differently was i attempted as many test series as possible i attempted around 40 35 to 40 mains test series so what what happens is when you attempt so many test series of different coachings what happens is that you get uh, you get used to giving exam so in real exam uh, you have an habit of seeing a new question and solving it at that moment so that helps a bit apart from that you have to keep revising things you have to solve more questions but the basic thing is that you have to give as many tests as possible and uh, you have to get used to seeing a new question and attempting it in the given moment how did you keep yourself focused and avoid the anxiety and pressure crops up during last month of preparation everybody feels pressure uh, even i was very tensed before the exam the last 5 to 10 days even 15 days is very difficult for any aspirant because of all the things you said uh, pressure and expectation but i i believe as uh, as a coach says that you should believe in the process and not think too much about the result so what every aspirant should do is to focus on what he has decided to do on that given day so if he has decided that i will complete electrical machines today for 10 hours he should focus on that not think too much about what will happen on the day of examination i mean this is definitely difficult it cannot be done completely everybody will feel a bit tense but we need to make effort not to think about what will happen on the examination day and we need to believe in ourselves we need to say to ourselves that if we have worked hard if we if you are true to ourselves we are working hard exam would go well uh, so the basic thing is that you have to keep believing in yourself and you have to focus on what you have to do today rather than focusing on what will happen on the day of examination and what will happen on the day of result you should focus on what is uh, you should focus on what to do today tell us about your family my father is a retired railway employee and my mother is a housewife and right from my childhood uh, they taught me how to study and when i uh, when i got younger i knew that i have to study and i have to make uh, i have to make a career in academics only so i i prepared for first for gate examination i got a job then i, I prepared for ese examination I, and i got good rank tell us about your native place i belong to gaya in bihar that's my native place and uh, gaya is uh, famous for its tilkut it is also famous for vishunpat temple uh, it is famous for its annual pitrapaksh mela which happens every year and people all over the world come to gaya it is also famous for uh, mahabodhi temple it is one of the most holy site for buddhism so gaya is a very native place uh, gaya is a very sacred place tell us about your schooling i did my schooling from DAV Public School, Pistupur, in Jamshedpur, and I got good percentage even in class twelve. As I said before, sir, I have always, I always knew right from the beginning. I mean, when I got a bit younger in class eleven, twelve, that if I have to do something big, it has to come from my academics because I knew that I am good in academics and I was getting good numbers, and I knew that if I prepare well for any examination, I stand a good chance to crack it. And then I uh, got into the college. i kept studying there in the third year i got to know about gate and ese examination and then i prepared uh, for gate and i also cracked it uh, twice and twice or thrice and i also got a job from gate so i had this confidence that if i prepare for some examination uh, i will be able to do good in that and then i started my preparation for engineering services examination i was not uh, this was my third attempt i did not succeeded in my first two attempt but i kept believing in myself and i knew that if i keep working hard Uh, i will be able to crack it so right from my uh, very young age i knew that academics is something that will land me somewhere so this is the result of my belief in that sir tell us about your college life in the first year we were involved in some activities like attending seminars attending um, i i was i also enrolled in one of the clubs in my college but uh, later on uh, when i entered second year and subsequently in third year we started Uh, we had a friend group circle and we all started preparing for gate at that time uh, so we also uh, 
since we were preparing for gate we were also focusing on semester examination so for me sir it was uh, mostly like 90% we were studying and we were preparing for some examination from the second third year and we also went for movies in uh, in uh, in the town nearby town and we also had some good time with my with our friends but primarily we focused on preparing for examination and studying with a bit of fun here and there not completely studying but the main goal was always clear sir what would be your advice for all future aspirants my message uh, i would like to divide that into two parts first thing is preparation related uh, message uh, there are three aspects of preparation first thing is that you have to complete each and every subject from any standard source so be sincere in that finish finish your syllabus from any source it can be a book it can be some classroom course it can be online lectures whatever the second thing is that you have to solve previous year questions you have to solve previous year questions of ac prelims ac mains if you are attempting gate you have to solve for gate that's it the third thing is that you have to give as many test series as possible which is also very important so these three things you have to complete your syllabus solve previous year questions and you have to give as many tests as possible these three are the three uh, pillars of preparation uh, in general i would like to advise aspirants that you have to once you decide that you are preparing for gate or you are preparing for esc or you are preparing for any competitive examination uh, you should be completely focused uh, you should uh, work hard every day you should be consistent in your work it's not that you study for 12 hours a day and then you don't study for 2 to 3 days you have to study every day consistently and the second and the most important thing i would like to say is that stay away from distractions now in college life and uh, while in general also there will be lot of things which you you would want to do but you cannot be part of everything you have to sacrifice something ultimately you have to realize what is important for you what you have to prioritize and once you do that uh you, you you need to stay away from all those distractions and you need to make your efforts consistently and ultimately you have to believe in yourself and at the end of the day you will achieve your goal definitely you have been an excellent student here at ias master we thank you so much for giving us time and for sharing your experience god bless you thank you ma'am